Here we are today, back in action. It's been a little while, and uh, I kind of want to skip right to it because uh, and leave off where I was before um, in explaining um, a little bit more of what's going on in front of the house. And honestly, a little while back, this wasn't kind of uh, in the picture yet, um, as well as a couple other projects we got going on. So I'm gonna make this a short video, but also we're gonna uh, shoot multiple videos. So I should have uh, multiple videos uploaded in the next couple days of kind of the various projects we got going on because essentially most of the summer has been very occupied by plants and gardening outside and kind of uh, getting ideas uh, where other stuff is going to be as well as uh, more rain catchment and we also were fumbling with our electrical so I might as well start with that so we had to you know it's partly for uh, our inspections to kind of pass our inspections because we had uh, extension cords running every which way but now we've got some of our panels we've got um, more panels to hook up but we actually we just got everything hooked up and set up for now so we actually have our combiner box and we had to dig our trench to bury our conduit pipe and now we've got our wiring we had our batteries out here but we ended up upgrading our batteries so now we have some lithium batteries in here we've got three 200 amp hour lithium and this is kind of another project i'm doing here is making kind of the cabinet box for everything uh, because as you can see we are under an umbrella and that is what is shading <laughs> most of this stuff so i'm gonna end up putting like a fan to help circulate the air through the cabinet itself to help keep all of the electronics cool and at optimal temperature as well as we'll be doing a box over the batteries uh, to help insulate those through the winter time as uh, as well as being inside here and not really you know taking up much room um, because this corner was going to be kind of a storage slash you know if you needed to set something down kind of corner so you know three batteries it's not taking up much walk walkway uh, as opposed to plants uh, like our orange tree and our mulberry tree and some tomato plants and some strawberries um, yeah and among other plants taking up a lot of space here so definitely going to try and focus on what we've been doing as opposed to the plants and whatnot because I'll have other videos for that and because YouTube I don't think really likes me filming those kinds of videos with those plants in the <laughs> as the main focal. I don't know why but um, so back to our electronics. So we're all professional now. We've got our breaker box here. So we've got just a... Uh, 15 amp breaker just a single one for right now because we really don't aren't running more than 15 amps or even close to that i think i mean if we have everything on in here with all of our lights and everything else you know because i'm gonna have two more lights and then we have another fan that's supposed to be out here um and then we might have some other stuff but you can see we've got our outlets on either end in here and I'll have to, yeah, I'll have a separate video showing because we've got uh, outlets on the inside here now. If you can kind of see our LED lights going. So we've got outlets in there. We've got an extension cord hung up because I need to get something that'll reach to that exhaust fan. Um, otherwise, that's kind of the extension cord we're using right now. But everything's all plugged in. So we've got our, bigger in, our big uh, inverter here you know, along with our charge controller. So we're going to end up getting another charge controller um, as well as another combiner box to aid with the 11 other panels that we'll be adding on to the system. So we'll have 2,200 watts total. And then we'll have 600 amp hours of battery juice on 12 volt. So all of this is 12 volt uh, set up right now. So we're still kind of figuring if we want to go 24 volt or, or higher. Um, yeah, we're just watching roosters try to dunk themselves in, in the pool. That's a 
Rooster Adnika had picked up not too long ago. He's a... Uh, yeah, he's a rock star, so he likes to sing with his funky hairdo. So that is uh, a big upgrade that we've gotten more recently and kind of just gotten set up. So we've uh, actually got outlets now as opposed to extension cords coming from the old inverter, basically. So we're a little more set up. You can see our metal pipe that goes to everything there. And... Yeah, we're going to be adding more and getting that uh, a bit more cleaned up. And this is uh, getting back to kind of our first project area. Like I said, we've got multiple projects, other projects going on. And this is uh, one of them here, which is going to be kind of the shed. Originally, it was going to be um, aiding in uh, the batteries, you know, for storage, which, I mean, we can in the future if we decide to add more batteries or if we kind of uh, electrify the shed area. So that's kind of what this has been deemed now is uh, the Earthship shed. So we're going to do, yep, south facing. It's going to be attached to the addition here. And it'll have glass and we haven't really decided yet if we're just going to keep the single pane or um, not a single pane, but the single greenhouse, you know, glass and then to inside. Or if this whole area is going to end up being double greenhouse like the addition. So if I don't fumble my camera around here. So we've got our door. So essentially you can see I've got it lined out with this. So with the edge of the door, so that'll be the first greenhouse. And then that's kind of the idea is, you know, planning for a double greenhouse. So this will be another greenhouse walkway area as well. And then this will be like a door, you know, out to the front here with all of our plastic and everything from the growing season. And whoops, I flashed all that a little bit. <laughs> so we've got this wood that I had just uh, linseed oiled. So I'm gonna give it a couple coats and that's gonna be on the base of the tires here. So we're kind of in the beginning stages. So that's why I wanna keep this video short because we've got a little ways to go before, um, well, I guess not too long of a ways. The tires probably took the most and I feel bad because I could have taken a time lapse of doing the tires, but We've also got other uh, projects involving tires, so don't worry, we'll, we'll get you guys some time lapse of some tires, tire pounding. But you can see here we got our stove pipe uh, that comes up, so we need to add more pipe to go up and then through the, uh, the roof here. And if anyone remembers, that pipe goes all the way through the floor in, inside the interior greenhouse, and then we have the rocket stove um, in the on the inside there so we've got all of this floor done I don't think that was one thing that was shown last time uh, or before was that uh, Nika did finished up all the f the rock on the floor so now we've got all that completed as well as we carved out this other room um, for our drying room so we've got the dehue in there because it is a little humid. But that's our nice carved out enclosed room for drying uh, herbs and spices and all the above. So we've done also, you know, all the mudding in here. Uh, it's not 100% complete, but we got a good first layer. And it's not a big worry with the cracks because when we do the second layer, we're, it'll mush in and fill in those cracks. And it'll kind of give it something more to hold on to uh, onto the wall itself. Uh, and on top of it's not nothing so it's not supporting anything this is just merely to fill in the gaps of the wall i mean i'm not too worried about aesthetics because i don't know the cracks give it some character i think it's like it makes it look more like rock so well i mean we can end up painting it and doing all kinds of stuff i mean we can fill it in with silicone if we wanted to so a little bit of a mess in here because we're cleaning up still and i've got a bunch of the plants in here too that are taking up space among other plants because we've got our moringa tree we've got a couple apple trees there strawberries and then we've got more apple trees so we're growing a lot of apple trees so far 
We, Nika had brought in her pepper plant, a couple of her pepper plants. We got a tomato plant from a neighbor. So that was cool. So we're kind of just getting more into uh, expanding uh, what we can kind of continually grow and kind of experimenting as well. You know, what can we keep growing inside? You know, like those tomatoes or those peppers, can we keep them going through the whole winter? Maybe. Well, we'll keep you updated on that stuff as well. So for now, let's keep it short. We're working on this project. I've got another video to make about the other couple projects we've got going on and some other future stuff. So thank you everyone for, if you've come back to watch and see updates, spread the word. I'm definitely trying to get back on track because we're at the end of the season. And we've definitely got some more projects to do uh, besides the farming aspect. So stay tuned.